Stone Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now let's move up to the heavyweights, cruiserweights slash heavyweights. We had the big fight over the weekend. The Alexander Uzek, the only undisputed man in the sport, knocking out Tony Bellew in round eight. Great fight. I like to thank those guys coming in and debating, right? That was what a debate should look like, right? Down in the comment section, I checked y'all out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. It was respectfully, respectful. We can respectfully disagree with each other. Some guys have um, Tony Bellew up by the time of the time of the stoppage. I had Uzek up at the time of the stoppage. My my point is, you know, let's get this crowd noise together. Just say this. If you put that fight in the Ukraine, same fight. Nobody does the same exact fight. Put it in the Ukraine. Check out the crowd noise. But some people thought that uh, Tony Bayou hit him with some heavier shots at that time. Right? And, uh, you know, thinking that maybe your boy Alexander Uzek was just waiting for him to get tired which is a tactic. Let's be real. But most of the time when you're waiting for somebody to get tired, you're on the back foot. You know, you don't be front footing somebody and waiting for them to get tired. But everybody's opinion is, res is respected, right? In the day, the guy won the fight. Tony Bay looked good. We can all agree on that. I don't know if he was winning, but he looked good, right? Tony Bay looked good in that fight. You know, that's another one. That's three fights in a row. Tony Bay looked look good in. Let's be real. Both of them David Hay fights and that one too, right? Front footed David Hay in the second fight. So thank y'all for that kind of debate. That's what I'm talking about. That separates us from animals. You know, and the guys that get ignorant when they're debating, didn't even come, did they? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they're just, oh boy, that's, that's poisonous, uh, healthy debate. They ain't they want to call people names. So good for that. Now let's get to something Tony Bell you said about Uzek going up to the heavyweight dealing with the big boys, right? Uzek said straight up. Now, uh, he ain't going to beat Anthony Joshua. He ain't going to beat Anthony Joshua. He says, because like I say, Anthony Joshua's just too big. At some point, Anthony Joshua's going to wear the man down. He thinks Uzek can outbox him for a while, five or six rounds. But if, if he can't get him out of there, get Joshua out there, he's going to wear him down. Joshua will catch him after round six or seven and get him up out of there. Because Joshua's going to continue to come forward if you can't hurt the man. Valid assessment, similar to how I think the fight would go. Uh, even though I do know Uzak has dealt with bigger guys, as Joe Joyce, right? And if uh, Hunter can beat Bo Bacoli, Michael Hunter, then there you have a little something to look at. But I just think that uh, Anthony Joshua is is a, um, a cut above. This ain't no joke, Anthony Joshua. Now, only thing that uh, that Uzak, my thing though too, is if Uzak would just say, well, you know what? Let me stay on the outside a whole lot. Let him, don't let me hit him because Anthony Joshua has a problem with tiring late. That would be the tactic there. It would be a good fight, though. It would be a good fight. But I, I would have Anthony Joshua probably winning a little bit late, late stoppage, too, because of his mass. You know, he's just a little bit bigger. And like I said, he's diligent in the gym. Now, here's something interesting. But he says he'll beat Deontay Wilder. He said he'll beat Deontay Wilder. He'll, uh, obviously, Deontay Wilder only weighs about 220. So he's going to be in a way what Deontay Wilder weighs. He feels he'll beat Deontay Wilder. Now, here's the big if, if he can stand up to 12 rounds. Because he says also Deontay Wilder is probably, possibly, the pound-for-pound uh, pound hardest puncher in the sport. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm looking through right now in my mind right now who punches harder with that one, point, one uh, punch knockout power throughout the weight divisions. I can't come up with one right now. So that's a valid statement when you talk to Deontay Wilder. Uh, I do say I think it's similar. Now, I think that he could possibly outpoint Deontay Wilder over 12 rounds. The possibility, my reason why I would say that, well, Arthur Spilka wasn't looking bad against Deontay Wilder. Now, was he? Southpaw, around the same size. By the way, Arthur Spilka got a gift the other day beating uh, Maurice Vach. I thought Maurice Vach even had him down and beat him, but I was going to do a video about it. But anyway, Arthur Spilka just got a gift over there in Poland the other day. But Arthur Spilka... Uh, gave Deontay Wilder a good fight. Until what? Until he got flatlined. Right? So that's the same thing about Tony Bell. He says, you know, if, if uh, Uzek could stand up for 12 rounds against uh, Deontay Wilder, he could win that fight. That's a possibility. I agree with that. He possibly can. Now, 
here's something we have to keep in mind. Deontay Wilder is not getting worse in these uh, over these years. Right? Remember, remember that, guys. This is what some people fail to realize because when you're hating somebody so much, you don't see his work ethic. You know, those two broke hands Deontay Wilder had, he didn't take a break and get fat. He was in the gym working on his left hand. Keep that in mind, everyone. So everyone who thinks he's just a right hand one hit wonder and all of that, he's been working on that left whole training camps. Just keep that in mind. But I do think Tony Bayou, like always, has a valid point. He keeps his um, opinions and, and, and himself humble, and uh, he keeps his feet in the ground. And when he says something, you need to listen. So though, that's a valid point. Anthony Joshua beats Alexander Ozick, uh, definitely, late rounds. Alexander Ozick, if he stands up, he beats Deontay Wilder. What y'all think? Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.